Hello and welcome to the introduction video on the JVC NR50 noise reduction unit. In this video you will see the various functions of this unit, how to use it, how to calibrate it and what it sounds like. On the front panel we have the power button, the playback calibration level pot meters, the calibration tone, the MPX filter, the three different noise reduction uh, possibilities that you can choose on this device, the noise reduction on or off switch and the mode switch. On the other side of the front panel we can set the record level and the output level of the device. So, within this unit, um, there are three different noise reduction uh, systems built in. You have TollDB or ANRS, which is basically the same. You have Super ANRS, which is um, the same as normal ANRS, but with an extra compander built in. And you also have Dolby C. Connecting the device uh, into your home audio setup is actually quite easy. So how does this work? Over here we have our input. So this is what you connect to your music source. And this is the output. So this goes to your amplifier or to your mixer. Over here we have the rack out. So this goes to your uh, input of your tape deck or reel to reel deck. Uh, and this is audio coming from the tape deck. So the output of the tape deck is connected to this one. And that's it. Before we can start using the device, we need to run the calibration procedure. And this is as follows. Push the calibration tone to on. Select the MPX filter, if you like, just yes or no. Select the noise reduction scheme. Push the noise reduction system button to on and put the device in record mode. Then on the tape deck, we will select uh, the source on the VU display. And now we should calibrate um, our tape deck to plus 3 dB. So I will increase the input signal to about plus 3 dB. Next, we record a short piece and we observe that we have again 3 dB, which is not the case. So I will adjust ever so slightly the input control until we have uh, 3db on the display. We set the counter and let it record for about 20 seconds. So I've rewound the tape with our calibration tone on it. In order to set the playback calibration level, I simply start playing our tape with the pre-recorded calibration tone and we adjust the playback calibration level until we, have, until we have a green indication for both channels. Like this, now the unit is calibrated for use.